All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a image gallery in Gravity View. So as you can see here, I've got a form set up here, uh, Gravity Form, and it's a, a form where artists can submit uh, information for their profile, which then gets displayed in a directory using Gravity View. So if I scroll down here, you can see there's a portfolio images field this allows the artist to submit uh, images for their portfolio. So let's take a look at this form on the back end. Here we go. Here is the form editor in Gravity Forms. And if I scroll down to the portfolio images field and click on it, you can see it's actually a file upload field. And I've enabled this option um, to make it a multi-file upload. So this allows users to upload multiple files and I've capped it at nine by adding nine here as the maximum number of files. So the other thing I've done is I've um, limited the file extensions that are allowed to be uploaded by adding the common image formats here in the allowed file extensions box. All right, so now let's take a look at what this looks like um, when we display this information on the front end. So here you can see I've got an artist uh, directory set up and uh, you can see here there's, there's an entry for Cheryl Heidegger and it's got her image on the left, uh, her artistic style, her bio. And then there's a link here to view profile. So if I click on that, as you can see, there's actually nothing here. But what we wanna do is display the artist's portfolio uh, in a gallery. So let's head back to the view editor and we'll click on the single entry layout. And so this is the layout for the artist portfolio page. So I'm gonna add the portfolio images here to the other field section. So I'll click on the add field button and scroll down. Here we go, portfolio images. So if I just add that there and then update the view, you'll see this doesn't actually display exactly how we want it. So if I just refresh the page here, so you can see each of the artist's images, uh, paintings in this case are displayed in a list one after the other, but this isn't exactly what we want. We want it in a gallery sort of grid layout, makes it much easier to view each image. So what we're gonna do is head back to the view editor. And here is the portfolio images field. So we'll click on the gear icon here to bring up the field settings. And down at the bottom in the advanced settings, you'll see there's a space where you can add a custom CSS class. So here we're gonna add the following class, gv-gallery and then we'll click outside to save. Scroll up, update, and refresh. Okay, much better. So as you can see, each of the artist's uh, portfolio images is now displayed in a grid gallery. Um, and if we click on one of the images, you can see it actually enlarges and we can really view it in detail. All right, so this is really helpful if you're building a real estate directory or any kind of application where you're allowing users to upload multiple images. Okay, so this has been a quick tutorial on creating an image gallery in Gravity View.